For, for me, biodiversity is the only way um, how we can survive. I mean, without biodiversity, um, we, we don't have anything. And I think uh, uh, today everything is in danger. So um, in my work, uh, where I crossbreed chickens from all over the world, um, I'm, um, I'm aware that uh, diversity is increasing a lot and I add to it bio and culture diversity because these are the two important things for a society. So for me, LifeBank has to contain the diversity of, uh, of the world. Um, for me, it's important that, uh, that I add the genetics of all my chickens to it because uh, now it seems to be that I'm the only one in the world who has the largest bank on genetics. And um, I think it's important to show the world that we need this kind of diversity. So it's important that the concept uh, comes on the third floor of the Palazzo because it was a formal uh, economical bank and now it is a life bank. Without uh, life there is no economic. So for me, the concept on the third floor of the Palazzo Franchetti is a very important one. Uh, what you will face there is really, um, um, it, it, it's really the biodiversity of the whole world together. When I saw the, in the first time this place, knowing that it was an economical bank, I was sure that we had to transform it to, uh, into a live bank. And, you know, it started with two big bronze hands. Uh, with one with glass seats and the other one with a little chick. Um, you know, we as human beings, we can decide if we help the world or if we kill it. That's why I'm using glass here for made in the glass factories of Adriano Berengo, of course, in Venice, in Murano. And, um, you know, it's, um, it, it's about fragility. Those seeds and those animals are very fragile and uh, we have to take care of it and you can express this into glass. Uh, if you step further you'll be confronted with all the real seeds uh, from Il Rosmarino. It's a farm, it's a biological farm and um, they take care of the, of the seeds of, of uh, uh, yesterday, tomorrow and today and we need, we need to take care of it. Um, also, with all these ingredients, we can cook. Uh, Peter Lehman, who is a vegetarian cook and has a, um, a very high top restaurant in, in Milan, he, you know, he let us taste what real taste is. Um, and the people who take care of all this biodiversity is, of course, slow food. I mean, with this kind of installation, we like to stress the world how fragile everything is, how, um, how, how very quickly everything can, um, can turn. Uh, my contribution, for example, for years, I'm doing crossbreeding with chicken in order to create bio and cultural diversity. I'm an artist. Um, I think the magic of this kind of installation is that people step into this and get aware of uh, a new world, a big change that we can't kill nature, but that, that we are part of it and that we have the, the power and the strength to help it going forward. And actually, this life bank is necessary for a future world. Well, the future of our society depends on the changings that we have to, have to go through. Uh, I hope that people get aware that, um, that instead of dividing everything, as we did the last 50 years, making clusters uh, which are um, actually monocultures. Uh, we have to bring them all together like in urban farming, for example, what I'm doing in my, my own studio. 
we have to try to understand why all the different species are talking to each other. And I think if we really take the chance and trying to understand, we will, um, we will have a better future and we, we can save our planet in that way.